Hello, in this video we'll be going over the Moran model. There's a bit of a lead up to this, and after that lead up, then it will all be pretty, I think everybody will be able to understand this. So we're going to assume that in total, there are n uh, individuals, and I of those individuals possess allele A. And it's a, that's an A, not a triangle. And then N minus I possess allele B. If you add them together, you get N. So where this is going to be different than gambler's ruin is we're going to assume that the probability of increasing or decreasing is not equal exactly to a half, that it's going to be determined by the following things. So we're going to consider a gene for which there are two alleles, and we're going to say it's A or B, and neither of these offers an advantage. So no evolutionary advantage. So the second part is we're going to have a population of n genes, which we've said before, and then we're going to suppose that at a certain point in time, and we're also going to suppose that n is fixed, so this number never changes. People are going to be born and died, but it's always going to you know, stay fixed at n. So we're going to suppose that at a certain point in time that uh, there are i people with a and n minus i with b. And we randomly pick who will die, and uh, we'll also randomly pick who will be born with a new allele. So we're going to first determine the probability, which we'll call D of A, that somebody with allele A dies. And that's just going to be I over N because we're randomly picking somebody out of this whole big mess of n, and the probability that you pick one person with a is just i over n. The probability that you pick somebody to die that has allele b, it's going to just be n minus i over n, or equal to 1 minus i over n. Likewise, the way that we pick who is uh, born with a given alien, so that probability we'll say is D of A, which is just going to be equal to I of N once again, and then this will also be equal to 1 minus I over N. Now the probability, now we can use these probabilities to determine um, what the probability of starting with some amount of people I with allele A and then gaining one person with an allele A. So it's going to be the probability that you're born with allele A, so I over N, and then that multiplied by 1 minus I over N. Because for somebody to, for one more person to be born with allele A, somebody with allele B had to die. Now the probability of starting off with I alleles and go, then losing one person with an A allele, so that's minus one, is just going to be the probability that somebody with allele A dies, so I over N, and that the probability of somebody with allele B is born, which is one minus I over N. So these are the two big results that we're going to be using in the later video that the probability of increasing is this, the probability of decreasing this, and then since there's only one other possibility which is staying the same, it's just going to be uh, the probability of staying the same, it's just going to be one minus, since these are two equal, two i over n times one minus i over n. So these three results are going to be used in the next video. Thank you.